Hey guys, this is Alex Pastor and I'm here at the MyKite Center in Tarifa and today we're going to talk about boards, how to choose your right uh, kite board for you. The first thing we're going to look at when choosing a board, of course we have many variables, but we're going to check the rocker. This is the board that I ride and as you can see here, it has quite a lot of rocker. A lot of people ask me, uh, why choosing a board with a lot of rocker? Well, a board with a lot of rocker is going to let you pop a bit higher, so when you leave the water, you ollie or you do a normal pop, you're going to go higher. And it's also going to make it easier for landings. So high rocker is, I recommend, especially for people using boots or just doing a lot of uh, freestyle or wake stay tricks. When do you want a board with lower rocker? mainly when you're a beginner or when you have intermediate level what you want to focus is not about doing tricks and it's more about riding with low wind um, going up wind uh, easier so therefore you can use a, a board with less rocker uh, and it's, it's gonna be better it's gonna help you go up wind also a board with smaller rocker is gonna get you planning a lot easier because it's gonna have less uh, drag on the water so you're just gonna get going very easily so for beginners definitely recommend flatter board and then for advanced riders you you can you can go up wind easier then you can get a board with more rocker now that we are talking about rocker i would also like to talk about the channels as you can see here this board has uh, quite a bit of channels channels have a similar effect on rocker so the more channels uh, the board has the more it's going to slow you down so you don't want to have too many channels you want to have I mean, I really like this board because it's got intermediate channels, not too much here, but it's got a couple channels that are parallel to the direction you're going to be going. And that's going to slow you down a little bit, but it's going to give you more drag. It's like having bigger fins. So what I like to do is use the very small fins and also have board with channels. What's the good thing about channels? Channels are going to help you out on your landing. So channels are going to let you uh, ride without fins when you're uh, riding in park. So, for example, you can use this board on a park with grind base, and uh, you can ride it without fins, and uh, and you can hit obstacles, and uh, you're not gonna break the fins or the board. If you if you have a beginner board with uh, with no rocker, usually they come without channels because it, you're not gonna make much use of it, and uh, and obviously um, you don't want an extra drag when you're trying to plan as easy as possible. Another another thing we really need to take in consideration is the size. For me, size is very relative to to your weight and to you, how yeah, basically how tall, how small you, your body is. Um, I will focus mostly on uh, on your height and not your weight. Um, I hear a lot of people saying like, "Oh no, I, I weigh a lot. I need a bigger board." Yes, but uh, I think I think it's more important to focus on your uh, your height. Um, for me, I'm about 178 centimeters, so I use a 140 board. The, also, the smaller compared to your weight, the, the more you're going to be able to control your board. But also, when you have a bigger board, then you're going to be able to land better. So that's why when I'm riding with boots, you want to have 140, maybe even 142. If you, if you want to ride in park, like with this uh, light wire here, which is made for park, you want to choose a bigger board, so most people want to go for 142 or you know even even the, I see some people riding 145. For flat water tricks, I wouldn't recommend to go much bigger than 140 if you are 178, 180, because also the the bigger board is the hardest going to be to get pop. So if you're going to do flat water tricks, tricks with your kite low. Um, you want to go medium, something big that allows you to, to land good. But uh, if you go if you go too big, it's gonna it's gonna be bad for you in terms of pop. So for me and for most riders, uh, 140 is the, the one to go for flat water tricks. So another thing we really need to to check when we're looking for a board is the flex. Flex is very very hard to describe, but um, I guess for most people. Let's do the basic check like this. And you can see that this board is quite stiff. What's a stiff board gonna, gonna do? When you have a stiff board, you're gonna have more pop. So if you wanna do freestyle, wake style, you're an advanced rider, you wanna have a stiff board. But the downside of the stiff board is that for landing, you really need to bend your knees and otherwise there's a lot of impact on your knees. 
if you're a beginner, I, I see here that a lot of beginners don't have enough experience to uh, to go over the chop uh, with a with a stiff board. So I would recommend a softer board, a flat board, because when you're going to through the chop, you still don't know how to adapt to the, to the chop. So yeah, a softer board is gonna be a lot more comfortable for for most people. Also, when we're looking for boards, we have to check what kind of construction this board has. A lot of the uh, the brands and uh, the best boards are made of, uh, of wood core on the inside, but this is just the inside. What's important is also what's laminated with. This board is uh, laminated with carbon, which makes it nice. a lot lighter and a lot uh, stiffer. Not all the carbon boards are gonna be really stiff because that also depends on the degree you put the carbon or the amount of carbon the board has. But generally, when a board is carbon, it's going to be more expensive and it's going to be stiffer. So advanced boards, obviously, you want them to be light and you want to be stiff. So this is why we have this board uh, here made of carbon, which is quite expensive if you compare to other boards. Another thing that uh, some kite brands offer is a grain base. So what this does is a, a base on the bottom that's going to protect your board from hitting rocks, hitting uh, obstacles, everything. So it's gonna make it's gonna make your board a lot more durable if you're gonna be uh, abusing the board and using uh, a lot on the, not only on water. Also, when it comes to construction, we have to see uh, what type of board it is. For example, this one is the cheapest one of our range, and you can see it's completely flat on the top, completely flat on the bottom. And it's just uh, basically we use it for for high school and something uh, very cheap, uh, very easy to, to ride as well. But obviously it's not gonna have as much performance as a board which has a, an attachment like, uh, like the Switch. It's also a board for beginners, but uh, as you can see on the bottom shape, it's got concave. And on the top shape, uh, it's being molded to regulate the flex on the exact knee. So when, when you're seeing that the board has different surface, is because like this we're, we're able to make the board lighter making these uh, steps here and also keep uh, the, um, the stiffness that we that we want for the board okay guys that's it for now uh, for kite boards please let us know in the comments anything uh, that you that you have questions with uh, and please subscribe to the channel